Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my June favorites talking about my favorites from the month of June. Basically, if you do not know, this is the video where I talk about all the kind of not books favorites of the month. If you want to hear um, about all the books I read, my wrap-up will be coming out shortly, so look forward to that. And I've read a lot of great books this month, so I'm super excited to do my wrap-up, but you can't pre-film wrap-ups, so I'm struggling over here. But <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorites from this month. We'll start off with products. I only have two this month. Um, other than like the usual stuff that I've been loving anyways, I fell in love again with the Cover FX Enhancer Drops. This is in the color Celestial and these are these little drops. It has one of those little eyedroppers which I personally love these things. They're so nice and it's a highlighter. Um, it's blinding. It's great. I would highly recommend them. I also have like another thing from that video that I've been loving. Not necessarily this powder, but I've been loving baking my face, which is when you like put a shit ton of powder under your eyes and then like wherever you feel like it, you let it sit, you do other makeup and then you wipe it off at the end and it makes it look really pretty. I I've been really enjoying doing that. Um, so yeah, you should give it a try if you're into makeup. It's kind of fun. I watched a lot of movies this month, mostly because in class, some of my classes, we weren't really doing anything. So me being me, I put my phone and I was watching Netflix in class. So I ended up watching like four or five movies this month. So let's talk about some of those. I watched this movie called Sea of Trees. It's basically like inspired off the story. It's basically inspired by the actual location of the suicide forest, um, also known as the Sea of Trees. Um, it, the real name, like the actual name of the forest is it, like Japanese. So like I can't pronounce that for shit. So. so I'm absolutely fascinated by the suicide forest. As you guys know, I'm very interested in psychology and I also have read books about the suicide forest. So this movie was really interesting. At first I expected it to be like blood, gore, bodies. And I was like, can't wait for this horror movie. Like I'm so excited. And there wasn't any of that. So I was a little disappointed, but it was really psychological. And this movie was really interesting. I thought it was really, it was just really interesting. Like it was actually pretty good. So if you're interested in checking out Next, I watched this movie called Would You Rather, and this is not like the most serious film. It was just very entertaining, to be totally honest. A woman whose brother has cancer, and to pay for the proper treatments, she doesn't, currently doesn't have the money, and she comes across this very rich man who's saying, if you compete in this game, and if you win this game, you get the money. So she goes to this mansion, basically, and all these people are sitting at a table. Um, I believe there's like 12 of them or something, and they're all trying to compete for this money that they need and they have to do like it's like would you rather so but it's like deadly like it's very graphic so if you're not into that don't watch it but it's like would you rather I don't know I remember one of them was like them was like it's just some examples of what was happening was like holding your breath for like three minutes like they like dunk you underwater um, another one was like getting a blade and scratching your eyeball so yeah it was really good though very entertaining. I'd recommend it if you're looking for something like really entertaining and kind of like creepy-ish. So look into that. I have Oculus, which this movie was really interesting. It's basically one of those horror movies that's like about a mirror and his brother and sister. And after so many years have passed, after their parents have are both dead, um, very traumatic experience. One of them killed one of the other, and then like all this stuff happened very complicated but after so many years in the future the brother just got out of the mental hospital and she is just roaming around her life and she's been in search of the mirror from their childhood that like possesses people and they find it and they perform all the, like they're trying to get it on footage and the girl is super determined and eager to like prove that this mirror is what caused everything and the brother is like really like kind of uh, like I don't know because he just got out of treatment for the situation that happened with the mirror. So it was really weird. The ending was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed Oculus. It was really interesting. If you're looking for, again, like a horror movie, like it's not like a super serious film, like don't take it too seriously, but it was really interesting. So I would suggest it. And if you guys, again, are looking for my music favorites, that is in my two videos ago um it's my monthly mixtape which i already uploaded so check that out if you're interested if you guys have it those were my june favorites from the month let me know your thoughts down below and some of your favorites as well see you guys super soon with a new video bye queen for queen and move just like this when you fall down